Hi, everybody, and welcome to this special edition of Virtual Sunday School. Well, today, I know that all of you are probably getting ready for America's biggest feast day of the year. You know what that is. That's Thanksgiving. That's the day when you guys are going to eat piles of food. You're going to have roast turkey, baked turkey, boiled turkey, fried turkey. You're going to have pumpkin pie. You're going to probably have apple pie. All of these great dishes. And then Papu and Baba are going to be on the couch. And they're going to all be knocked out thinking that they're watching a sports game. So first, I wanted to say Happy Thanksgiving to the entire Annunciation Parish. But secondly, I got a more important question. Aren't we in the middle of the nativity or the Christmas fast? So how are we having this huge feast? Well, wait a minute now. You're probably asking me fast, fast, what is that? Well, why don't we talk about that first? So what is fasting? Does God want us to run somewhere quickly? No. If we look at the actual original meaning of the word fast, and surprise, surprise, it does not come from the Greek. In this case, it comes from the German word feisting, which means to hold yourself firm. And this is really what fasting is, is it's for us to be firm or to be disciplined for what we eat. So now we can begin to understand what fasting is. It's when we're taking a break from eating all of this delicious food. So why do we do this? I mean, why would God make something as delicious as pizza and then not want us to eat it? Eat the pizza. It is really good. Yum, yum. Well, it's because of that original meaning of the word that there are times that the church wants us to hold firm. They want us to be disciplined. Now, part of why this is, is because when you eat too much, what happens? You get really sleepy and you just want to just nod off. And these are times in the church, like Christmas and Easter, when it's very important that we pay attention to what we're doing, like praying and like doing good works. And God wants us to be really attentive during those times and fasting helps us maintain that discipline. Maybe think about it as a challenge. I mean, some people challenge themselves by wanting to be the best football player they can be. Other people want to challenge themselves by being able to climb the tallest mountain. But think of fasting as a challenge that has been given to you by God so that when you have all of this wonderful food in front of you, you're able to hold firm and to be disciplined and say, no, there's more important things right now that God wants me to do. And just like every challenge has its reward that that person is the best football player or he does climb the highest mountain, the church rewards us because after every fasting period, there is always a feast. In fact, think about it. Feast is just one more letter from the word fast. So when do we take on this challenge? Well, the church gives us three important times during the year when we do this. The first time is that nativity or Christmas, and that's 40 days. And then the second one is during Easter, and that's also for 40 days. And the third one is when we celebrate the Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, and that's two weeks. And then also we have one more that we do every Wednesday and Friday in the Orthodox Church, we're supposed to fast. So that gives us three great fasts and then a couple of small fasts throughout the entire year. Wait a minute. At the beginning of this video, didn't I say that we were in the Christmas fast? Does that mean now that I can't have my turkey and I'm going to be stuck eating sea salted okra chips? Well, thankfully, the Orthodox Church has given us here in America the permission to celebrate this great American feast because the reason we do it is to give thanks for what God has given us. And there's another important reason. If you remember the Tower of Babel story, God created all the different languages and out of those languages came different cultures. And what we have in the Thanksgiving feast here in America is we have 
all peoples, regardless of their religion, regardless of their culture, coming together at a single table and breaking bread together. And in fact, that's what you learn in school, is that these two different cultures, the pilgrims and the Native Americans, came together peacefully at the same table and were able to communicate to one another and to break bread and share in the bounty that God provided for them. So the good news is you're going to be able to celebrate this great Thanksgiving Day feast with your family and friends. But after the feast, we're going to go back to fasting. So I'll give you a little hint. Make sure you eat as much as possible so then you won't be hungry at least for a couple of days. But if you do get hungry, I can always give you some of these. So speaking of thanks, we'd be very thankful if you liked, shared, and subscribed to our YouTube channel.